This is how to enhance your personal brand by creating a custom or vanity URL for your LinkedIn public profile. Hi, I'm Lance Schooler, the Savvy Navigator. And you might be saying, well, what does that mean and why is it important? Well, the reason is if you have a URL on LinkedIn, something like this, which is what mine used to look like, rather than this, which is linkedin.com slash in slash first name, last name as one word, it looks a lot better, doesn't it? And then if you can include that in your email signature, your business card, on websites or directories or any other place that you would like to have your LinkedIn URL displayed. So let's see how we can do that. So here we are on my LinkedIn profile. I'm in the viewing as a connection. So if you were looking at my profile, this is what you'd be seeing. And here at the contact information or contact info on the left here is my URL. So if yours does have the gobbledygook in it, as I say, that's where it'll be displaying. Now to change this to edit it, we come up to profile, come down to edit profile. That will transfer the page into the edit functionality and you can tell that's the case because as you pass your cursor over these fields the little pencil comes up now what we want to do is either we can come to this area here with a drop down menu manage public profile settings or you can come across to the URL at the end there's a little uh, settings wheel and it says update your public profile settings so I'm going to click here you can do either of those click here and that will bring up this new uh, view to of your public profile this is what the public would see not a connection now what we're going to do here is just look at our public profile URL we're not going to look at the other things that's something you can look at later so over here on the right at the top enhance your personal brand by creating a custom URL for your LinkedIn public profile. And this is the URL. So if you're looking at yours and it has a gobbledygook in it, so this is what you would do. You would click on the pencil, you would type in your first name, last name together and see if it's available. If it's already taken by somebody else, then you'll have to choose something else. Maybe first name, middle initial, last name, or some combination of numbers or um, a country that you're from or something like that to indicate something special. But it has to be unique that nobody else has used. And once you've done that, you can just go click and save. And that's how you do it.